love it. I love it. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to White Knuckle Racing. Today we are at Ocala Grand Prix for round number one uh, of the summer series. Uh, today we are running in the heavy class as always. Um, and we're actually getting ready here to send up Jorge and a couple of the guys out for their session in the master's class. So follow along, jam packed day of action and hit the subscribe button, the like and the share. So after finally having a great qualifying session in second place, we get started here in the first pre-final of the day. Everybody was being very aggressive right off the bat. And unfortunately, somebody decided to use me as a guardrail. Um, and that ended the race for me. Uh, I popped a quick Huey and just got back on the track and said, you know what, let me try to catch some of these guys. When, you know, Luckily, there was a little bit of a, of a slower field towards the back. And I said, let me just try my best to move up front and get some of these spots back. So I was able to get three spots past the gentleman in the 69. I come up to here, up to Jared and Scott. They were just fighting back and forth and back and forth, which obviously allows the single cart to go ahead and catch you at any time in 206. And I just said, well, let me be a little patient. I know I'm a little bit quicker. And as soon as that we get somewhere around the showcase, uh, and if not on the straight, I will go ahead and pass them. Jared there running uh, number 46. And I know here we go, I had the good run and I had plenty of gearing to go ahead and get past them uh, on the straight. Now, kind of cool, uh, one lap later, I was, I saw the gentleman with the flag kind of playing around with a couple flags there. And I said, well, the leaders must be coming around me. And here they were, the leaders uh, in the light class just flying by me. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to notice them coming and moved out of the way for them. Trying to get something going. Hey, what's going on, How are you guys doing? Awesome. Having fun? Oh, I'm running great today. Good day. So. My second master's race. All right. Good day. Go get it. You earned it. So I'm looking for a Tony cart. I think he has an OGP suit. That's the guilty one. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get to see the number. I've had, I've had my run-ins with that guy before as well. Okay. So, listen, it's racing. Racing's racing. No big deal. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, going on to the finals and heavy, I knew that I was going to have to work really hard to work my way to the front. But luckily, I had a decent start and uh, moved up to the top six pretty quickly. Now, this gentleman on the left on the blue suit, Dan Pinkston, extremely respected uh, in our community of karting. I don't know if you could see there, but uh, the gentleman in the CRG suit pretty much closed the door on him going into the first straight of the, of the race, and he didn't even lift. He had no cares in the world. He's like, yep, this is what I do. Let's uh, smoke some rubber. No problem. I got this. So I had a good start. I was sitting here behind Heath. I knew that we were both pretty quick. I knew that was. Uh, I still had a lot of speed left in me uh, from previous practices. I knew that, that I was fast enough to run with the leaders during this particular event. So I said, let me sit back behind Heath and see if him and I can uh, move forward and make a move on the field. So he dips in here on the inside. Gentleman again, the number 54, kind of starts closing the door just a little bit on him, but he did lift and closed the door on me completely, uh, which is actually uh, gonna come back to hunt us here coming up. Going into the second hairpin here, I knew that I was gonna have a good run if I stayed on the inside of him. Uh, normally, somebody would see me coming and lift, but this gentleman again closed the door. I did have a cart behind me pushing me. I lifted, but I believe might have been the 7-7. Seven seven. Obviously, he had a good run and pushed me forward. Uh, some words were exchanged there uh, from the gentleman in the CRG suit. I don't know his name. I didn't really hear him at first, but once I did get up off the cart, um, I kind of did hear a little something. Not sure exactly what he said, uh, but uh, luckily he did stop once I got out of the cart. Um, Went ahead and I said, you know what? I'm going to try to put down some good times. Just How are you running, Morgan? Uh, pretty good so far, but I'm getting lucky. Yeah? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting real lucky today. They shouldn't get spun out. Gabe, Gabe probably calls that himself. Man, it's okay. It happens. So, well, go get it. With... Yeah, are you P1 right now? Yeah, so Okay, so P1, you're going to see your pre-fight him? Yes. In the Masters. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do gear change. I drop the two. Because I always run a lot more deep than everybody else. So go get it. 
to do shit. So, big names, kick ass. Hopefully those will work. Look at Chad. Look at Chad modeling. Look at that. Look at this teeth. Look at that smile. Now, although this is a small local, I mean, we have some top-notch drivers that show up to these events uh, in all sorts of brands and karting. Uh, pretty much show up. I mean, TV Car, Eagle, Comet, Tony Car, uh, whatever, whatever brand you can think of, they all show up and they all come to these events. Uh, it just shows uh, how neutral the sport is and how if you put some work into it, uh, you can be good. Uh, this is the field for the Masters class, which I was not allowed to race after I was uh, signed up, but no big deal. Uh, and they go into their pre-final. Jorge did win uh, both of these uh, rounds, pre-final and final. Kind of checked out on the final, did a great job, which you'll see here coming up very shortly. But I, I'm just kind of jealous of not being old enough and running with this group of guys. And they're actually really awesome and talented drivers at this night. And with the senior class, there you see, there goes Miguel starting out of P1. He did finish the event in P2. Hugo finished in P5. Uh, here he goes, the watermelon gigolo flying to the track. What class are you guys running? X30 Junior. And what motor is this? So here we are, we're in the finals, we're doing some night racing. This is for the Masters class. And, uh, and where are you starting? It's not the nicest game. I love you. I love you. What did I do now? Nothing. What did I do now? So we're here for the finals. We're here for the master finals. Yeah. We already finished senior heavy, knocked that out. What'd you get um, in senior heavy? P1. I started P1 in the masters, but the masters ain't no joke. Look at these guys. Danny Roberts. These guys don't play around. Look at that. We have the Dan Pinkston, which is always bad. We got tons of freaking carts here, and it's not gonna be an easy race. So we're gonna give it hell and send it all the way. Hope for the best. So jam racing. So I'm gonna have your link on the bottom uh, of the of the page thingy. So go ahead and give them a follow. Their page is also very entertaining. So it's Jorge and Miguel. You see Miguel over there, right behind Jorge. Um, we got great dudes. So as always, come out, hang out with us, subscribe, hit a like, hit the share, and. Uh, Keep the ride. What's the problem? Alright, so some drama right before the finals, as you just saw, uh, Jorge is now out there on a loose spark plug. So, this is why you race, it doesn't matter where you start, the race is, all, is where you finish. Uh, hopefully the spark plug will stay on tight the whole way. It looks like right now he's coming on the showcase, and uh, he looks to be on pace. I don't hear any pitter patter or anything like that, so, let's see. Watching his uh, one of my whole videos of uh, woodwork and stuff and that part. <laughs> <coughs> come on, Jorge, come on! Woohoo! Jorge's leading the field. We got one, two turns to go. Keep it together. I don't know. One better spot now. There it is, there it is. There it is, there it is. Woo! <laughs> Good job, bud. Good job, guys.